All right, I want to talk about the doctrine of faith, the teachings on faith. There seems to be a misunderstanding about what faith is and how it grows and how it starts and how it ends and what it does. So I want to talk about faith right here, and I want to show you the different pieces of faith. In other words, there's at least two pieces of faith. One is the initiation. The initiation, the initiation of faith is where it begins, okay? The second one is the growing, the growing faith, right? So a lot of people think that when they get this initiating faith, and everything comes from grace, by the way, grace is, our faith is rooted in grace. Even when we do the works of faith, that teaching, teachings of grace come from Jesus. You can't do the teachings, the works of faith, without the teachings, which is rooted in grace. Grace gives us the teachings. The teachings gives us how to live, how to obey. That's connected. How you live your life is grounded in the teachings of grace. Jesus is the manifestation of grace. But back to this. Faith has at least two steps. <laughs> There's probably a third maturity step. When Jesus says over here that a seed, just a mustard seed, right? Mustard seed of faith, you can cast a mountain. A mountain into the sea with just a mustard seed of faith. Now that mustard seed he's talking about is both. Both. You have to get the beginning believing part like Abraham believed God. You can believe without even getting off your couch. You can believe this part right here is where people get confused. They don't understand that this part has to come first and then this part is necessary to continue in that, these two have to go together. You can't have one without the other. In other words, you're initiating faith, the beginning steps when your eyes are open, which comes from the revelation of God. Revelation, revelation, and enlightenment. When God opens up your eyes, when God comes to your mind, and gives your mind a revelation that you're a sinner, a revelation that, wow, Jesus died on the cross for me, that knowledge comes to a man's mind by revelation. And that's the beginning of your faith. But that alone does not save you, which many people are teaching. They think that because they have the revelation, the initiating beginning steps of faith, which still comes from the teachings, everything comes from the teachings of Jesus. Everything comes from the teachings of Jesus. Okay, the revelation of the cross comes from Jesus. And the revelations of obey come from Jesus. So we got a big gap here. We got a gap from the cross, what Jesus did, and this is where people, people leave it, by the way, what Jesus did for me, right? What Jesus did right? For me. What Jesus did for me, they don't understand that Jesus also did something else. He told us to grow. Jesus did that for me. They don't understand that the teachings are not only about the cross, but the teachings also tell me how to continue and grow. In fact, we got a big salvation here. Salvation. Salvation. If, if we grow in faith, all of this teaching comes from the grace of God. The grace of God teaches us about the cross and about growing in obedience unto perfection. So this is a bigger picture of the doctrine of faith. Doctrine of faith, the doctrine of faith right here, 
is complete or at least better understood when we understand the full measure and the components, the parts of faith taught by grace the two parts. We get people stuck on this side over here, which is it's the blood sacrifice. That's good to know. That's good to know about. That's good a revelation. you got to have that. But how many of you know the Bible says the blood will not cover you, will not cleanse you. You will not be saved by the blood if you keep sinning. That's in Hebrews chapter 10. Now, they don't like Hebrews chapter 10 because that's what it says. People are taking out the books of the Bible, the book of James, the book of Hebrews. They're taking, ripping, just ripping, ripping the pages out and saying, oh, that's not for you. Because you're just supposed to stick over here and stay under here. Just stay under the blood. When the Bible actually teaches, you can't come under the blood unless you are listening to the teachings of Jesus. Abide in my word. Abide in my word, John 14, 23. And the Spirit will come live inside you. we got people right now claiming to be born again by faith who are not keeping the words of Jesus unto salvation. Right? So I hope that helps explain a little bit better of what we, we understand about faith. Very important that, you know, Jesus did all of this for us so we cannot do it for ourselves. So I'm not coming over here saying, now, now this is something that man has done for himself. No. When Jesus tells you to do something... It's not something that a man did on his own. It comes from grace. The teachings come from grace. This comes from grace. The teachings are just as much as important as the cross. Because why? Because Jesus did them both, and they're both something I can't do for myself. You can't teach yourself how to be saved. You can come out of the understanding that there's blood, and you can have that initiating faith. But unless you grow, if you obey unto salvation, Hebrews chapter... 5 verse 9, I think. So I hope that helps. God bless you guys. Thanks for your support. Click the, uh, subscribe, click the bell, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.